Hello friends, thanks for stopping by. Today's video is going to be my makeup picks. Well, there's a couple of hair products in here also, uh, but mostly it is my makeup picks for the Sephora um, Beauty Insider event that's going on. This video is not sponsored. It's not in partner. I just wanted to come to you. Uh, after I did my first video, I was looking through things and I said, you know, there's so many things that I I'm really loving right now, so I wanted to share them with you. And I have mostly uh, everything I'm talking about in the regard in regard to makeup is on my face, except for I don't have every single color on my face. All right. Okay, so let's get started. Every single time Sephora has some sort of event, I mention a few of these products that I'm going to get out of the way in the beginning. And the first is the New Face Trinity. I have been using this for probably. I want to say at least five to six years I've been using the new face I actually have several of them um, and I use the gel primer now some people like to use other things with it but I use the gel primer I do feel if you use this every single day like they suggest in the beginning especially you will see results now you're not gonna get a facelift my friends but you will see results so I have to recommend this again. The next item is my Dr. Dennis Gross Pro Steamer. I have been using a facial steamer for so many years and absolutely love it. If you're somebody who enjoys having a little bit of spa time at home, you, are, you will not regret buying it. And depending on what your discount is, you can get 20, 15, or 10, okay? All right, so uh, I also wanted, I left my hair straight uh, today, and I may curl it and then come back at the end of the video if I have time because we're going out. It is date night, so we're going out. But I wanted to leave it straight because I wanted you to see uh, what it looked like after using this system because so many people ask me about the Olaplex system. Now, I have been using the shampoo and conditioner. Now, I do not use Olaplex all the time. Not every single shampoo, and I don't think you should. This works on repairing your hair, strengthening your hair, and it hydrates your hair. It's a bonding system. And if you're in a salon, the professional, they start out with two, and then Olaplex came out with their number three to take home, and now they've come out with their number six. So they have three, four, five, and six that are for home. And the shampoo and conditioner are very nice. I have no complaints about it. The shampoo actually really lathers up nicely, and the, uh, it's made without sulfates, parabens, gluten. It's vegan and color safe. Uh, I just had my hair colored yesterday and I washed it and I had no fading. Uh, and then the conditioner is actually very nice also. It does detangle not as much as some of my other conditioners. And if you've been with me for a long time, you know that I really like a conditioner that detangles. This does, but not to the level that I absolutely adore. But anyway, what you do with this system is you put number three on damp hair first and you leave it on for about 10 minutes and then you rinse it off, you shampoo and you conditioner, condition and now they have the Olaplex 6 Bond Smoother. This is a leave-in reparative styling cream. It's supposed to eliminate frizz, hydrate and protect the hair. Now this is without any oils, anything on my hair. I simply use this system. I didn't use anything else when blow drying. You need you need a very small amount. So this is the look I got. It did not weigh my hair down. My hair feels conditioned. It feels good. So like I said, now is the time to buy these kind of products because you can save on them. And the whole system would be expensive, but if you're somebody who has very fragile hair and you're trying to rebuild it and you're just trying to help it out so that you can wear your hair longer, uh, you might want to look into this system. But again, I don't recommend it every single day. I think when you use systems like this, too much can almost make your hair a little brittle. So if you're using it every day and you, you're feeling a little bit dehydrated or brittle with your hair back off of it use it just a couple times a month okay and then uh, we have 
my vital proteins, collagen peptide, uh, I buy backups of it when uh, Sephora is offering the discount because I get 20% off of it. I don't even get that on Amazon or the site. And I have been using this for years, even when people said, oh, that's doing nothing for you. Now everybody uses it, but I do love this, okay? So then I wanted to talk about some super goop products that I use because I have a sensitivity to a lot of sunscreens. I can only use certain ones on my face or I break out. But uh, I have been using this one for quite a few years now, and it's the Forever Young Body Butter with Sea Buckthorn Broad Spectrum Sunscreen SPF 40 by Supergoop. And I really, really do, come on, focus. I really, really like this product for many reasons. It is not greasy. Um, I don't get it all over my clothes and I just love it. It's a moisture rich whip and it restores dry skin and then again prevents aging because it is protecting us from the sun. And I also use, I wrote it down here so I'd have the name, the Super Goop Mineral Sunscreen. It's the everyday one uh, for face and body. I use that on my face also now. Um, I use the Elta MD, but you can't get that at Sephora. So, but I use that one most of the time because it doesn't break me out. And then the Super Goop Mineral every day doesn't break me out. Okay, I talked about this. I think I may have talked about it in a video that never made it up. But anyway, uh, the Cinema Secrets, uh, Sephora carries this. Best, best, best brush clean I have ever used. Go for the big size. Don't even bother with the little one, okay? And the next uh, thing is a fragrance. Now, I was going to talk about a bunch of fragrance but I have to tell you this Guerlain Mon Guerlain because I know there is a Mon by YSL it is not the YSL one it is by Guerlain this is the Eau de Parfum this is so gorgeous so sexy it is a warm fragrance but it's not obnoxious I have a sensitivity to wearing something that is just if I smell it too much, I'm getting a headache. This is so beautiful. It's what I'm going to wear tonight. I'm just gonna put a little spritz. One spritz is all you need of this. It is so gorgeous, my friends. If you have worn some of the fragrances that I have worn over the years, you are gonna love this. Joelle introduced me to this one and it's spectacular. Okay. So before I move on to my makeup, I wanted to mention, so many people love that Laneige lip mask. I bought it. I have half a jar. It, did, it really didn't do anything for me. I just don't care for it at all. So I was on the search to find another one, and you all know that I had lip laser done. And when you have lip laser done, you get really, really dry and parched. Uh, but this Kiehl's Butter Mask for Lips, I've probably been using this almost a year now. And this jar is empty. I'm getting another one. I absolutely love this. I have had nothing. My lips, even the day of the laser treatment, it really, really did help. I mean, they still peeled because they were supposed to, but this stuff was fabulous. And I have used this all winter. I live in an area, we have harsh, cold, dry winters. And this really, really helped me a lot. So I really, really love the Kiehl's Butter Mask for lips. Everything will be listed and linked below for you. I didn't hold up the uh, Olaplex either, but the newest Olaplex, I will hold it up now, is the number six. It'll all be linked below for you. All right, my friends. Okay, so let's move on to some makeup. Now, I really, really thought about this because I just didn't want to come here and talk about things, especially I'm trying, I wanted to, you, you almost see us all talking about the same thing. And I thought we're all so different. Why do we just talk about the same thing? So I really thought about it. Now you will see some things that you'll see in other people's videos also. And that just goes to show you that they're really, really good. But, and the first one, and a lot of people ask me why I have two of these, and I'm going to explain that to you. The first is by Charlotte Tilbury, and this is the Hollywood Flawless Filter. Now I have three and four. Three has a little bit of a peach, that's this one here. And then this one here is number four. It has more of the golden undertone to it. Now I only have, I am showed, I bought them both just to see because people would say to me, well, which color should I get? And you know, I really didn't know if a step up 
or step below would work for my skin tone. So if you are my skin tone or you just like golden tone, you can go as deep as four. Okay, because four is really, I'm going to show it to you. I'll swipe the four. It almost looks like a foundation on me. So that is the four. And then I'm going to put the three next to it. Now three definitely has a peach undertone to it. It's gorgeous. I mean, I, I find myself wearing the three a lot, but I just got the uh, four not too long ago. And I think when I get a little bit of a tan, the four is going to prove to be beautiful. But that is the two of them side by side. And I'll come forward for you so you can see them. You see the difference? The, the, the three, this one here just has a little bit more peach to it. And it's actually just a hair lighter. I know the lights are, there you go. All right, so keep that in mind, but you can, if you wear the same colors as me, you can wear either or. I need to get something to wipe it. So then I was gonna talk about some powders. Now, I have a lot of powders that I like, but I'm really uh, paying close attention to powders now because my skin is changing. I have more wrinkles than I've ever had. So packing on powder underneath the eyes, it's just not, it's not doable, it's not anti-aging, it actually ages us. So I'm playing around with powders and I did, now today I have underneath my eyes, which it gives me a little brightness. I, I didn't get any sleep last night. It was one of those nights where I just, I fell asleep for like 20 minutes and then uh, hot flashes, night sweats, everything. I was up and I think I finally fell asleep at 20 after four. I woke up at like 10, 55 and I went downstairs I watched some YouTube videos you know I just kind of you know I read a little bit I tried to just really make myself tired and it wasn't working so I am I'm coming to you with no sleep and uh, so when I when I do struggle with sleep and I need to look fresh I do go a little bit brighter underneath the eyes. So when I need that, I do the It Bye Bye Pores. And this is actually very nice because it does give a nice smooth look underneath the eyes. Uh, but you know, I mean, I don't use it all over my face, but if you have a pore issue, uh, it does help with the pores, you can put it on your nose too, but underneath the eyes, it's really a nice powder. You can't bake it on because then you'll start to see it, but it does hold up well underneath the eye. The next powder that I have been playing around with is the Fenty Beauty Powder, and this is in butter. In my cart, I did have lavender, but I got a little, I, I just worried a little bit about it. This one is so finely milled that it works for us. It's a matter of finding the right color. The butter works okay for me, and it does work okay underneath the eyes also. But another one that really does work, and the reason why I like to show you a few is because we are all different. And what works for me may not work for you, but there may be a, a gem hiding right here when I show it to you. Uh, so this one here is by Charlotte Tilbury, and it's the Charlotte's Genius Magic Powder. And I, when I first talked about this, I said this powder absolutely has the worst smell, and it does, but it actually wears well underneath an aging eye. Now again, you don't want to bake and pack this on. You want to really, I take a damp beauty blender and I just put a little bit of the powder on and then I just dab it underneath my eyes and then I'll turn the wet sponge around and I'll go again just to lift up any powder that might be hanging out because that powder is gonna find its way to a road map underneath my eyes. <laughs> okay, so now primers. Now, I do have two different primers. Remember, I don't have a serious issue with my pores, but I do have pores that are accentuated by foundation, so it is important for me to use a pore primer in those in that area, which is my nose. And I have been trying the Bye Bye Pores Primer, and it's okay. I don't like how much silicone it is in it. It really, um, it's got a whole lot of slip to it and I don't really like that. I like to press my pore primer in and that's why I like the one, I don't have this one, I'm going to order another one, is, is the Elgenis Pore Perfecting Anti-Aging Primer. I love that one, just perfect. 
But I also like this one for all over face for hydration and it is the Too Faced Hangover RX Replenishing Face Primer. I really like this, but this is not going to do anything for your pores. This is good if you have very, very dry skin and usually, hello, usually when we have very dry skin, we have very small pores. Oily skin people have larger pores, but they get less wrinkles than us, okay? So, okay, so foundations. Now I have a couple to mention, and even though I'm doing foundation reviews now, uh, none of those foundations have made it here because uh, one, Sephora doesn't carry, and I haven't uh, put the video up yet, but it's a good one, my friends, it's a good one. But for years, I have been wearing the Armani Luminous Silk Foundation, and I wear number six. Now, this is beautiful. Uh, I use, I can put this on with, in two different ways, with a sponge or with the Artiste Oval 8. You can get the Oval 7 brush. This brush, I highly recommend. It is expensive. Now would be the time with a discount, but it is so beautiful at blending foundation. And for an aging skin, it really lays it down nicely. It, it's just beautiful. It's, it's all in the way these bristles are packed. It's gorgeous. So this brush, I highly recommend for all of the foundations I am mentioning. And all can also be applied with your hand or a sponge. I've used them always. The Armani Luminous Silk is my go-to when I need to really look super glamorous. Okay, this is just beautiful. I also like, and I have three different colors because I really had a tough time finding my color. And um, the BD40, if you're mine, is probably your best bet. But I did buy the B40, the sand, just to put a little splash of it in here. And if you see them all together, you'll see that there's a slight difference between all of them. Okay? And I, I lean towards the yellow golden undertones. This foundation is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous applied anyway. It is beautiful. It plays well on my dry skin. It leaves my skin with a beautiful radiance to it, as does the Armani Luminous Silk. So I really love this. And this is the Touche Clot. Let's see. This is the Touche Clot Le Tint Radiance Awakening Foundation. And again, the BD40 Warm Sand works the best for me, but I did buy sand because I need to put just a little pinch. And this one here was the BD50 or BD60 Warm Amber. This is when one gets a little tan, okay? This would be too dark to wear on its own for me, okay? So absolutely love this foundation, and I've been wearing that for a couple of years. Uh, now, what I have on my face right now is the YSL, and this is the Touche Clot All-in-One Glow. This is, I would compare this to a tinted moisturizer. It is really, really nice. And the color that I have on today in this is the BD40. Again, I bought the BD just to change the color when I need to. But if you're my skin coloring, this is the one I have on today. When you first put it on, it, it comes up a little too yellow. But if you're looking at my skin now, it's, it's, it's really perfect for us, all right? All right I'm gonna okay. talk about the setting sprays that I like. One is the Too Faced uh, Hangover RX 3-in-1. No alcohol in that one. I look for a setting spray that has no alcohol because I'm already dry enough. The other one um, that I have been using for a very long time is the Algenis Splash. This is just nice. It has a nice mist. You just spritz it on and it takes that powdery look away. So let's talk about some blush. Now I have changed my thought process when it comes to a blush. I don't really look for a matte blush anymore because I want to glow. And I don't want to pack on highlighters and everything else because then it's just too much for me. There are occasions when I will, but for the most part on an everyday like today's look, and my cheeks are a little flush because I did blow dry my hair and I get a little red when I blow dry. It, it, 
it aggravates the rosacea just slightly. So uh, blushes. So my blushes, I like them to have a beautiful satin finish and I'm so upset with myself. I left my NARS palette, the exposed. I took it to Florida and I left it in with my makeup there. So the NARS exposed, they are beautiful blushes. You get six in the palette. They are absolutely stunning. They leave a very subtle, they almost look like glass on the skin. They're really beautiful. And I saw Lisa talking about these and they are the Wanderlust Primer Infused Blush. I bought three of them. I love them so much. And my niece, I think my niece is 34, 35, somewhere around. Oh, I mean, she might be she might be a little older. I don't know. She doesn't look old. Anyway, um, she loves these blushes and she has all the same colors as me, but I ended up buying the Havana, which is a beautiful pink, just a really, really pretty pink. And then my Konos, and that's Greek, I think. Yeah. My Greek friends, how do you say that? My Konos, my Konos, Okay, so that one is more of a peach. And then the one I have on today is Seychelles. This is beautiful. It's just a really pretty nude. I'll bring them all close so you can see. That's the Seychelles. This is Havana. And this one here is Mykonos. Beautiful, my friends, aren't they? And they have such a beautiful finish to them. Really gorgeous. So I'm going to move right on into blush, more blushes, because <clears throat> these are these are also the same. These are blushes that you do not need to put a highlighter on afterwards, and they are by Hourglass. And I have quite a few of them. I absolutely love them. I've used them in tutorials before. I have Euphoric Fusion. These have, uh, they're like two-toned, but this is the Euphoric Fusion, and this one gives you a beautiful berry plum color. And then I have Mood Exposure, which is, it's more subtle than the um, Euphoric. And again, it has a beautiful plum mauve undertone to it. Gorgeous, just gorgeous. And this one here is Brilliant Nude. This is probably... This one is a favorite of mine because I lean towards a peach tone and this is just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And I'm going to show you the brush I prefer to use with this. Now this is Sephora's Pro Featherweight Blending Brush, number 93. Beautiful. It has a loose tip to it and it picks up just enough. All you need to do is you just tap it in. You can swirl these together. And then you just go ahead and you apply it and it gives you a beautiful, beautiful glow and you just sweep it along your cheekbone and it is just gorgeous. And what's nice about this brush is it, it is loose so it's not picking up and it's not laying down so much product. And as we get older, our eyesight goes. So this is a beautiful brush, absolutely. And it's a beautiful thing when we can get our blush right. So that is another color. And then I have diffused heat. And I think Michelle from Makeup MLC told me this was one of her most favorites. And I went and picked it up when she told me she loved it. And it is gorgeous. Now this one gives you more of that pinky red look. Just beautiful. And the way the colors are weaved together, they just, they just, they just really do they distribute nicely on the face. Okay. That's what I'm trying to say with my Invisalign getting in the way. All right. So the next one is dim infusion and it's just a beautiful coral. You can tell I use this one a lot and the coral just blends in beautifully with the ivory tone that's in there and just gives you a great, great healthy glow to your face. Okay. So let's move on to a bronzer. I only have one that I'm going to talk about today. And this is the Powder Bronzer in Rosewood by Anastasia. This is gorgeous. I have this on underneath my blush. It is beautiful. If you are my coloring, ignore the Sephora suggestion and get the Rosewood. It is perfect. In case right. you're wondering what's on my eyes today, the lid, I am wearing the Vizart Sultry Muse. And I have this one on this one on and this one on and I think that's all oh and I have the light gold one let me show you those so I have this one on 
and then that whole row I have on and I have them just on the lid. I don't even have them carried up. So that's what I'm wearing there. Okay, I'm gonna talk about the rest of the brushes. I say this every time Sephora has their event, get their brushes. This fan brush is on sale right now. They must be discontinuing it. Number 92, it's what I lay my bronzers on with. I know it's a fan brush and most people use highlight, but I lay my bronzer down because it's nice and narrow, beautiful. This is the Sephora number 79 brush. This is the uh, contouring precision. This Someone is who really likes to add contour. This brush is shaped perfectly. The size is perfect and you just lay it right where you need it. Even if you press this brush hard, it's not going outside of the contour area. This is a fabulous brush. Again, number 79, all listed and linked below for you. If you're, if you've always lusted after the La Mer brush, don't lust after it. This brush is almost identical. Number 91, it's what I use to apply powder, whether I'm placing it on the cheek or I'm swirling it all over my face. This is the brush. I have them all. I have the Thrive, I have the La Mer, I have the, um, uh, Tom Ford and I always reach for this one. Just love it. Okay, and this one here now This is if you like to diffuse your foundation uh, This is their pro diffuser number 64 You can apply your fun it This is nice because it's a diffuser with a little more substance to it So it's just not it's not a real airy so it's not going to really thin out the foundation But it still gives you that nice soft feathery look and you just tap it on and then you can either press or you can even do a light swirl with this. I prefer to pounce when I'm using this and then just press in with my hands. And you get a beautiful application with this one. Again, the number of that one is 64. And then this one here, if you watch the Tati video with Scott Barnes and he said that J-Lo caused the one brush, I have it. This um, brush here by B. Dellium Tools, the 968, he said J-Lo causes the cat paw and he was applying Tati's concealer with it. Well, Sephora well, has one very similar and it's not made for that. This is the Sculpting Blush Brush. Now for me, I think this is a horrible blush brush because for people that really struggle, I think you're going to get too dense a color. I think it's going to be too hard to blend. This is perfect for your concealer. It's just like a cat's paw. So it's perfect for placing either powder or your actual concealer. And this one is number 99, Tom Ford Lipsticks. I'm wearing Bare Peach with Chestnut Laura Mercier Lip Liner, my favorite lip liners. Uh, that's the combination I have on my lips today. I have Guilty Pleasure, which is a beautiful, almost golden peach. You can barely see it. It's beautiful. Sometimes I'll use this as a topper. Let me go ahead and do that. In the center here, I just add a little and it brightens it up even more. The next one I have is Twist of Fate, which I've been really rough on. It, I broke the tube, but I'm just going to show you what it looks like. That is a Twist of Fate. It's a uh, peachy coral with a little more, a little more color to it. And then I also have Indian Rose, which I know is a popular one with many of you. Let me go ahead and just put that on the back of my hand. It's a beautiful muted mauve rose. That's what that looks like. That is Indian Rose. And of course, Spanish Pink. I will tell you something. I know that a lot of people have problems with this uh, line they go bad on them. I've never had one go bad here in New York ever. I had a I had a Spanish pink and a bear peach in Florida and the uh, Spanish pink turned. They both did so I threw them both away but Spanish pink is probably one of his best sellers so let me put that right here and it's a beautiful peachy pink and that one is right there. It's a nice nude peachy pink, beautiful. And then I also have Spiced Honey, which I bought, I think the last, I think I bought this one in the fall. And this one's a little light for me, so I do have to doctor it up, but still a gorgeous, gorgeous peachy nude for those of you who really love a peachy nude. This is the Spiced Honey right there. And then the last one that I have of the Tom Ford is 
bare peach, which is on my lips. Okay, so let's move on okay, now. So I'm going to talk about lip liners. I don't think I'm going to swatch all these colors because I've done it before, but I just wanted to show you my love for them. Laura Mercier pencils, to me, are the best. I can have lip balm on and they still glide on and they they seem to last for me. So the Laura Mercier lip liners, and she now changed some of her, pa her packaging looks like this. They used to look like this. She still has some colors with this. These are long lasting now. The formula is just as nice. So I don't regret buying those. Two new lip liners that I really like, and I heard Lisa talking about these. Uh, this one is by Estee Lauder Double Wear, and this is rose. It is really a pretty color. I'm glad I got it. It'll go perfectly, I think, when you really want to pinkify the Spanish pink, it'll be a nice one. But that is the rose. And then another one that she mentioned that she really liked was Charm by Lancome. And this one is really pretty too. And again, we'll go beautiful with our Spanish pink when we want to pinkify it. <laughs> All right, so that is the Charm. So those are both very pretty liners and eyelash curlers. Now, either one of these is fine. It's the way they're shaped. And you do have to just lightly tug your eye and place your lashes in there, but the way they fan, and I, that's what I've had, my eyelashes are fanned today, although my eyelashes are falling out because I did an experiment and stopped using all serums, and you do lose your eyelashes when you do that, and they, they get old lady-ish on you. But this, these two lash curlers I love, and one is Surratt, and one is Shiseido, and they are almost identical. Either one is absolutely fine. I lean towards the Shiseido a little more. I think it, it doesn't catch the lashes as much as the, I mean like, um, like pull one out, as much as the Surratt. For some reason, this one here, it pinches a little, where this one never does for me, and I've been using this for years, so, Love it. Uh, mascaras that I really love that I always pick up during the sale is the Bobbi Brown Smoky Eye Mascara. It's what I'm wearing today. I love this mascara. The tube only lasts about three months, but so worth it for me. Brow Tinted Gel, a must if you have white eyebrows like myself. I use the Anastasia. This is the Caramel. Caramel. And what I do is I just sweep it on my brow after I've done the penciling and those white lashes catch this color and I, I no longer have granny eyebrows, okay? Now my niece, she was wearing the blonde. So I bought the blonde because I thought, hmm, this could be interesting. Now this isn't going to cover the white, but sometimes I feel like my eyebrows get a little too dark. So if I just take a little of this and I sweep it through, it's almost like I'm giving highlights to my brows. Uh, so I thought I would give it a try to see if it would, you know, sometimes when I use a pencil that just isn't the right color, to see if it kind of uh, lightens it up a little bit. I had another uh, Lancome lip liner, and that is Ideal. And that is more of a brownie mauve. I wanna make sure I show you everything in my bucket here. And I think I have, and I also want to tell you that I have a lash primer on, the Grande Primer. Uh, I've been using this. I do like it. Not sure if I like it more than some of the drugstore ones that I have used, but it does do a nice job and it plays well with all of my mascaras. And my concealer, I don't believe you can get at Sephora, but I'm also wearing the Dermablend Camo Concealer. All right, my so friends, that's it. I have nothing else to share with you. This video went way too long. I'll try to shorten it up but I really wanted to share with you some of the things that I'm absolutely loving because as we age, our skin changes and we need to find new things to make us feel fabulous and looking our best. All right, my friends, so let us know in the comments what you're getting in the makeup department and are you gonna try any of these? And is there something that you think I'm missing, my friends, all right? All right, that's it for me. Thanks for stopping by. Don't forget, subscribe, ring that bell so you are made aware of all the videos I am posting. Go out in the world and be happy, healthy, beautiful, and most of all, my friends, lovable. I love you all. Bisous.